Yeah, we got it, baby. <laughs> so, anyway, after that hearty intro and uh, I got Darth Vader responses back, uh, man, you got to be feeling it right about now, right, Joe? Oh, man, I tell you, if anybody doubts the power of uh, <laughs> the Barbecue Central show, <laughs> uh, Karma is rocking right now, man. Uh, I will, uh, I'll take it. No doubt about it. Joe Beelan joining us here from Tippy Canoe Barbecue, just winning the Sam's Club National Barbecue Championship title this past weekend. Uh, Joe, Sam's Club champ, feelings after being away from it from a few days, you know, just kind of the event itself, and uh, maybe give us a, a path of how you got there. Sure, yeah, absolutely. It's, it's, uh, it was it was an amazing weekend. It, it kind of it doesn't hasn't sunk in. It probably won't until sometime this winter. It's uh, it, it's been a run that uh, uh, I couldn't fathom that we could we could go on. Um, so it's it's just been been fun. You know, our, our journey through the Sabs was a little adventurous. We started out really well, cooking kind of in our backyard here up uh, in the suburb of the Twin Cities up in Minnesota, and and uh, cooked really well and just got our Butts kicked by True Bud, um, <laughs> the folks there out of out of the Kansas City area. We got we got reserve, but reserved by like thirteen or fourteen points, and uh, uh, we cook, cooked well that weekend, obviously, and, and that that helped uh, get us get, get our reserve there and, and get into the Indianapolis region. Uh, came through the Indianapolis region, which which you know, at the time I cooked that contest, I thought was the hard, the toughest contest I'd cooked this year uh, out in India. A lot of really good cooks out there as well. Of course, needed a top ten. I uh, sat through the whole award ceremony without a call in in Indianapolis, and I uh, get to brisket, and uh, I thought the brisket was on, and and uh, sure enough, it was. I think we we had a tied for first, or or just missed first, end up with the second place brisket with a really high score, uh, which carried us, saved us. Uh, we ended up sixth in the uh, in the regional, which of course was the kind of the the mission there for those regionals. I don't know how everybody else approached them, but that was our approach that weekend was don't screw anything up and, and advance to the final to, you know, be in that lottery, so to speak, with a one in fifty shot at thirty five K and obviously it went the way we wanted it to, so yeah, absolutely. Sounds like a great uh, Minnesota via Indiana via Bentonville and then walking away with it all. Uh total prize money within those three, what does uh Tippy Canoe collect? Um if uh, this this weekend was um you know, a little. Uh, I think it was right at thirty-eight thousand bucks, and I think we got three uh, out of the other two combined. So yeah, it's a, you know, it's it's a forty thousand dollar adventure uh, in a prize money category. So pretty, pretty amazing. Right. Think about that. When I started this three years ago. You tell me I could make that money cooking three contests. Uh, I laughed at you. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Joe Beelan joining us here on the show. Now, uh, let's be truthful here, Joe, because then this is something I wasn't even going to ask about, but since I kind of threw it out there, I figured we'll just follow this road just for a few minutes. $41,000 certainly seems like a lot of money. Uh, you do it over the course of three different weekends. So, I mean, you could break it out to, you know, roughly you know, thirteen, fourteen thousand dollars $14,000 a weekend if you wanted to, because obviously last weekend was a big payout. But there's a lot of expense in doing these competitions. This isn't like forty-one thousand dollars bankrolled and you know collecting interest. Now you have travel, you have room, you have entry fees, you have all this other stuff that you have to pay for. Absolutely, you know. I think uh, um, you know it's definitely going to help and, and going to give us some seed money for the future, um, which is is going to be nice. But uh, yeah, I'll be real honest with you. We got to a point in in July after a drought of about six weeks where it was. It was we better win some money. I'm not sure how we're going to do this anymore. <laughs> you know, it gets to that point where it's an expensive hobby, and and uh, I'm not taking out of uh, family living or anything else to do it. You know, so I've I've got to got to use my fun money uh, that I've got set aside uh, personally, and and then winnings to to finance this thing. And and you're right, it's 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 a, <laughs> an incredibly expensive hobby, and with what with what meat and uh, and gas has done, it's uh, it's certainly something you've you've got to. You got to work at and and uh, and enjoy to do it because it's 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 expensive. You know, I've got a neighbor who races cars on dirt tracks around here, and he's the same way. You know, he does it because he loves it, not for the money. And barbecue's the same way. Even even though we've obviously come off a really good few weeks, it's uh, it's still a, a a game of dollars and cents you got to play. Yeah, that's right. Finance first. Now we look at the turn in specifically here. We'll start with chicken. I, I don't want to say you bombed chicken, but when you look at the rest of the scores that you got for the other three categories, uh, no call in chicken. So initial thoughts right off the bat, were you happy with chicken and the way it turned in? Were you not happy with it? And what was your gut? Yeah, you know, chicken's been our worst category. We made some major adjustments in August, and it bounced back really nicely. I, I thought we cooked well. It, it uh 
was about the same as our 14th place chicken in the American Royal Open. I thought uh, it, it looked the same, tasted the same to me. But uh, uh, but it, that's always um, you know our, been our weakest category, like I said, historically. So it it really made me. I was nervous after not getting a chicken call in that crowd. Uh, I was nervous, especially I I hadn't. Um, I was concerned about the brisket. If you'd asked me right after turn-ins, uh, I'd have told you, you know, our pork was our best category, ribs a close second, uh, chicken in there, and then the brisket concern me. I, I thought it was a touch overcooked or, or might have been. All right, ribs are next. You get a call six, so, you know, top ten call. Going to help that uh, chicken I'm gonna call or non-call out a little bit. Uh, how did the ribs feel for you that night? Yeah, the the ribs uh, I thought were were spot on. Uh, you know, they scored in a, a 176 range, so they really scored well. It's interesting through the award ceremony. Troy uh, had had indicated that the I think fifth, fourth, and third place ribs right ahead of us had tied at 177 and change wow. as a score. So I kind of had that in my mind uh, that okay, you know, that we're we're probably right in there. I figured it'd be a close comp, so so you know, I was I was kind of doing that math of okay, we're probably in the 175, 176 range on ribs, and I felt really good about that. All right, next is pork, second place call in pork. So probably from getting a little nervous from not getting a call at the first category, now having two top ten calls, six and a second. Momentum is probably starting to build a little bit your way now. All of a sudden. Yeah, yep. We got the got the pork call. Um, I felt felt really good about our pork. It was just rock solid. It's been on and it was on again. And uh, so when we when we got that call, and again, I believe he announced that there were some ties. Um, you know, middle of the pack in the one seventy four five range. So again, I knew that uh, that the score was big. Uh, and really, uh, after that that pork call, uh, then then I, I felt good. Uh, really worried about brisket now. Focused on that, and I think I said to my wife as they were starting to brisket calls that hey, get a, get a brisket call and we got a shot. All right, so we come to brisket and you get that fifth place brisket call. When you get that call, knowing that you've had three top ten calls, you don't know where your chicken is. Where are you thinking before we, you know, before I ask you the inevitable questions, I start calling overall. How are you feeling about the four categories as a whole now? Uh, it was interesting. Troy didn't call the first places in any category. Uh, he saved those for the end. So I think in my mind, I was thinking we had three calls. Grog and Hogs had three calls. Yeah. A bunch of teams had one or two with all the first places remaining. And I'm thinking, you know, I, I, honestly, I was thinking i got to avoid one team getting two first places. That's, that's the first goal here. we gotta, you know, we got we to gotta dodge that bullet. Right. So that's kind of where my, where my mind was at that point. All right, so they call overall teams, and uh, you get grand champion. Was it similar to American Royal where when you're not called for reserve, you're wondering how bad the chicken tanked off for you? Yeah, it it actually because we had some of the the numbers. I was doing some quick math in my head, thinking you know I was doing this well as long as my chicken was, you know, in the in the upper one sixties. You know that's going to give me a seven hundred or should, and uh, you know based on what I knew about the other three, and I thought, man, if the seven hundred's not enough to win this contest, then uh, you know I guess so be it. Uh, but I had done that math. Uh, I knew Grog and Hogs had three. By this time, I knew True Bud. Had a first and a second, and my uh, my my good friend Ryan and Sonny with uh, big T's, they had two really good calls as well. So I kind of had it in my mind that that was the top four. Um, we get through uh, through fourth place, third place is big T's, and now there's only of those teams I had just identified. There's there's uh, three teams left for two spots, and I, I you know I knew somebody's going to be really disappointed somebody got 11th and the other two of us are going to be very happy and and uh so as they get to the last the you know the, the final call grogs and hoggies reserve uh, it came to us and and uh I, I honestly at that point thought we got 11th i thought well that's i think uh, true blood had a first and a second and they've been just cooking solid all year and and uh and i thought i thought we had i thought we'd missed it and uh it was funny when he was calling calling uh uh, the awards he was starting with towns you know from Ames, iowa etc yeah. well i live in the town of st ansker iowa not the easiest thing to pronounce <laughs> so troy instead of saying st ansker i was listening for the saint he says north 
had that finishes with Iowa. And I tell you what, that threw me off. When I heard the North, I was like, Oh no. Until I, until I heard the, the Iowa behind it and, and knew it was us. And, and obviously the celebration began, but it was, uh, I, I want to give a shout out to the true bud guys too. I, I, like I said, I knew they, they were probably thinking they were right there. I know several other people approached me afterwards and, and uh, they they cooked their butts off and and uh, you know obviously came up a little short there but they handled it with class and and uh, they're great guys so Joe Bielan from Tippy Canoe Barbecue joining us here on the show if you want to check out their website tippycanoebbq.com is the place to go uh, probably the worst question I could possibly ask at this time Joe but you won the American Royal Invitational and you know the teams that you competed up against there uh, I guess technically uh, 50 teams more, 50, 60 teams more than what you did at Sam's. However, Sam's Club was a different event. You had to go to your your uh, local area, then you had to go to the regionals, and then you had to go on to the finals and cook against all of the best that were competing. And this was a really ramped up competition. I think Sam's Club did a very good job at promoting it and using KCBS to get the word out, and a lot of people are trying to get in all different places. So when you look at the two competitions, I know I'm long-winded in asking this question, which one do you like better and why um you know I, i'll give you the <laughs> the blakely correct answer is i like them both a lot <laughs> right. uh, they, they were both they're both really really awesome victories they're you know they're they're special or interesting or cool for different reasons uh but uh for me the sam's victory um probably meant a little more it was you know, we're, we're a new team, Greg. We've, you know, I was talking with Darren with Iowa Smoky D's. He's, he's won more contests than I've cooked up until the last few months. And, and, uh, you know, you kind of get this, well, did, did we get lucky? Did we, you know, hit the right tables? It takes a little of that at the Royal. And we, we always cook good in that area. And, and, uh, so to, to follow it up in a tournament with, you know, 50 master judges and teams from all over the country and judges from all over the country and on that stage, uh, maybe it was a little personal validation or a little okay. We, you know, we 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 are cooking well. We did deserve this, and and that was it was fun to fun to have that feeling. So uh, that's uh, obviously winning the American Royal. Will, I will never forget that, and that was up to that. Uh, the build up to that um, was was just incredible as well. But uh, the Sabs one it, it was probably for me a little bit of uh, a little bit of this is real. So when you look at the list in the finals. And you look at where you were taking grand champion, you look at the bottom who took last. 49 points separate you at grand champ and last place. Is this like the closest event you've ever been involved in when you look at results from top to bottom? Yep, absolutely. We um, won a contest in Wisconsin last year with two less points than the 50th place team had um, in, in Bentonville this weekend. So yeah, I don't think I've ever been a part of anything that was that, was that close to the top. You know, I think two points separated uh, third from seventh in the overall. Um, so just incredibly close. Are you confident that KCBS and Sam's are going to be able to build on the success of this inaugural event and draw more teams and and potentially more you know outsider interest at this event? I I, I think so. I definitely see it. You know, they obviously the marketing machine that is Sam's and and uh, and Walmart. They. Uh, they were out in full force, and they had sponsors there, um, you know, McCormick's, Tyson's, et cetera, uh, national companies that they support in their stores and support them. And and uh, they walked them out at the VIP party and let them all talk and, and uh, really built the excitement. And, and uh, they, they kind of, you know, of course, no official announcements, but they, they very much indicated they were, they were interested in making this thing bigger and better for the future. Uh, more teams, um, you know, more more places, all that kind of stuff kept coming up throughout the weekend. So they're excited about it, which is awesome for competition barbecue. I think, I think this this thing could really take off um, with the excitement they're generating with corporate sponsors with real money to spend uh, to attract you know our business people who cook outside. That's that's really their their market, and they see that as as uh, if they can teach more people to cook outdoors, they can uh, they can capitalize on on uh, you know on the sales of those folks. So Joe Bielan from Tippy Canoe Barbecue joining us here on the show talking about the win this past weekend. All right, Joe, so we're building into this coming weekend. It doesn't get any easier for you. Jack Daniels is uh, just a few hours away. You're going to be uh, probably heading down there in uh, maybe a day or two. Given the wins that you've had, Sam's Club this past weekend, uh, American Royal before that, are you feeling more confident than ever about potentially winning the Jack Daniels?